Mackenzie Scott besides being Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Mackenzie Scott Tuttle was born on April 7, 1970 in San Francisco, California to a financial planner father and a homemaker mother. She claims to have begun seriously writing at the age of six when she wrote The Bookworm, a 142-page book which was destroyed in a flood. In 1988, she graduated from Hotchkiss School in Lakeville, Connecticut. In 1992, Tuttle earned her bachelor's degree in English at Princeton University, where she studied under the Nobel Laureate in Literature, Toni Morrison, who described Tuttle as one of the best students I've ever had in my creative writing classes. She also worked as a research assistant to Morrison for the 1992 novel, Jazz. In 2005, Scott wrote her debut novel, The Testing of Luther Albright, for which she won an American Book Award in 2006. She said that it took her 10 years to write, as she was helping Bezos build Amazon, giving birth to three children, and raising them. Toni Morrison, her former teacher, reviewed the book as a rarity, a sophisticated novel that breaks and swells the heart. Her second novel, Traps, was published in 2013. In 1993, Scott and Bezos were married, and in 1994, they both left D.E. Shaw, moved to Seattle, and started Amazon. Scott was one of Amazon's first employees and was heavily involved in Amazon's early days, working on the company's name, business plan, accounts, and shipping early orders. She also negotiated the company's first freight contract. When Amazon began to succeed, Scott took a less involved role in the business, preferring to focus on her family and literary career. She divorced Bezos in 2019 and had previously given at least $49 million to Philly area nonprofit organizations. After her divorce, Mackenzie Scott immediately vaulted into Forbes' list of wealthiest billionaires. She remains the third largest shareholder in Amazon after Bezos and Vanguard. In 2019, Scott signed the Giving Pledge, an initiative started by U.S. billionaires Warren Buffett and Bill Gates to donate the majority of their wealth during their lifetime. Other billionaires signed the pledge as well, although Jeff Bezos is not one of them. Scott saw her wealth increase from $19.5 billion to $55.5 billion over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, even after giving away $8.6 billion to charity. That's according to the most recent data released in October 2021 by the Americans for Tax Fairness. In 2021, Scott remarried, this time to Seattle science teacher Dan Jewett, and together they formed a foundation to continue philanthropy. Jewett, who used to be a teacher at Harriton High School in Lower Marion, also signed the giving pledge in a letter and said he never imagined being able to give away significant wealth in order to make a difference in other people's lives. Jewett most recently taught chemistry at the private Lakeside School where Scott's children attended. What Philly groups have benefited from Scott? In 2020, in 2020, Scott gave $30 million of her Amazon wealth to two Philly institutions that serve low-income communities. The Reinvestment Fund and Community First Fund boost the economic power of people and businesses in low-income areas. She also gave $20 million to Lincoln University, the Inquirer reported at the time. It was the largest gift from a single donor to the 167-year-old historically black university. In July 2021, Scott donated $10 million to Girls Inc. A significant portion of the $10 million went to the local Girls Inc. Philadelphia, South Jersey chapter for a program called Project Accelerate, which addresses inequality in the workplace particularly the absence of women of color in positions of influence and leadership. A number of other historically black universities also received money, including Delaware State University. Her latest local donation is a $20 million gift to Benefits Data Trust, a Philadelphia nonprofit that helps people overcome barriers to government benefits for food, housing, and health care. Scott has given at least $8 billion in the last two years to mostly small nonprofits that serve people in need. She is a gem of a person. What do you think about her donations and her philanthropy work? Tell us in the comment section below. And before leaving, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.